Well, the frost is on the pumpkin, the broccoli is bolted, and it's time to put the garden to bed for winter. But I'm not gonna waste any of the produce. This is still good. Even the tomatoes, though the vines themselves have frosted overnight, the tomatoes are still good. Even though they're green, I know a way to ripen them over winter. So I'm gonna harvest everything I can, and the rest of this produce, I'm gonna turn into green manure and till it under to enrich the soil for next year. Now I've put a brush cutting blade on my string trimmer for two reasons. The first is by cutting up all this foliage, it'll decompose faster over the winter. The second thing is that it won't wrap up around my tiller tines. My next step is to check the pH. I may, may need to raise or lower the pH, and if I do it now in the fall, I'll have all winter for it to take effect. I can do this in one of two ways. I can take a soil sample and send it off to the extension service, or I can use a pH meter, and I've got one. pH is a measure of the acidity or alkalinity of the soil. And of course, we could send a sample off to the extension service, or we could use a pH meter like this one. Now, not everybody has a pH meter, so sending off a sample might be a good idea. And knowing what your pH is, is important because certain plants do better at different pHs than others. Also, decomposition takes place at a different rate if the pH is not adjusted correctly. Since we want this to be a vegetable garden and we want decomposition to take place, we'll probably want the pH around 6 to 6.5. If it's lower than that, we'll want to add lime to raise it. If it's higher than that, we'll add iron sulfate to lower the pH. And our pH is too low, so we want to lime it. But I'm not even going to use lime. I'm going to use fireplace ashes. Wood ash acts just like limestone, but at about half the rate. And it's a good way to get rid of my ashes at the same time that I'm raising the pH in my garden. Now wood ashes will raise the pH at about half the rate that ground limestone would. So if your soil test called for say 50 pounds of limestone, you might want to put on 100 pounds of wood ashes over the course of the winter. I'll warn you, you can overdo this. So monitor your pH, check it again next spring to make sure you haven't put on too much. As long as we're tilling the garden in the fall, this is a good time of year to work in some extra organic matter. Take all those leaves you've been bagging up and putting out for the trash man and till those into the garden as well. And by the way, on these wood ashes, don't put them in the compost heap. As I mentioned, if you have too much of a pH or too high a pH level, decomposition won't take place as rapidly. So don't put them in the compost heap. Spread them on the garden or spread them on the lawn to bring the pH up. Now once we've got the garden well tilled, we want to plant a cover crop. And what a cover crop does is stabilize the soil, keeps it from eroding in the winter time. It also competes with winter weeds. It's a green manure crop too. What we'll do is till it under next spring and improve the soil. I can remember watching my mom and dad washing green tomatoes at the end of the gardening season. Even when I was a little kid, I could never figure it out. It turns out they were rinsing the tomatoes in a 10% bleach solution. And what that does is it kills the bacteria and the fungi on the outside of the tomato that would cause the tomatoes to rot. Then they'd store them carefully in cardboard boxes with layers of newspaper in between the tomatoes, and the tomatoes would ripen all winter long. If you give this a try at your house, you'll be eating fresh tomatoes next January while you're planning out your vegetable garden.